we had discussed up to the point that the and whatever transaction that is taking place between the self and the body is only that of information there is no material transaction that is happening between the self and the body so we talked about the fact that there are various sensations that the body receives from the outside and some of these sensations are read by the self by choice so like we gave that example of the fact that many sounds may be reaching the ears but you decide which sound you want to pay attention to and so you pay attention to that sound and even though there may be many other sounds in the background you sort of ignore those sounds or you don't pay any attention to them focusing only on the sound that you want to pay attention to similarly we spoke of for instance when you look at a sunrise or a sunset or any other thing that you want to see the many reflections of many units are falling but your focus is largely on what you want to pay attention to so it's almost like you are zooming in on the sunrise and everything else seems to be in the background which you are not paying attention to and we also noted in that example many of you were able to see that even though you may have a very good phone camera and you take the picture of what you saw the sunrise that you saw and you wanted to capture that you may have realized that what you saw in that sunrise was very different from the picture that you are able to see in the camera the phone camera even though it may be a very good phone camera because the camera is capturing that whole um that whole scenery not particularly on the sunrise and so there is a different you may often feel that um what you were able to see was better than what the camera could capture and so on so the transaction that is happening between the self and the body is only of information there are many sensations that are there in the body but i am choosing to read those sensations that i think are important to me at that time and on the basis of that i am processing that within myself and then deciding something and giving particular instructions to the body so to be able to see that this decision for every transaction is being made by the self i am choosing to read the sensation from the body and i am deciding what instruction to give to the body we had discussed this um next slide bhaiya so the i am there i am the consciousness i am the self i am there the body is also there we can see that we want to live i want to live and i am using this body like an instrument for whatever i want to do and i don't just want to live but i want to live with continuous happiness this we can see 
Mm-hmm. We all aspire for that happiness in continuity. And that is my need. That is what I want. When it comes to the body, the requirement of the body is for physical facility. And based on my understanding, I am able to use this physical facility to nurture the body, to protect the body, and to utilize the body rightly. When it comes to utilizing the body rightly, only if I know or if I understand that the body is just an instrument and it is to help with my purpose, then I can utilize it rightly. If not, I am making some other program. I may be trying to use the body to try and get this happiness from the body through the various sense organs. So all this we talked about and we discussed. So ultimately, if I want to live with continuous happiness, what I need to do is to understand everything the way it is, the reality the way it is. So to be able to see the harmony in myself, how I can be in harmony, with my being in harmony, how I can keep, you know, or be in harmony with the body. To be able to see my role in the harmony in the family and the harmony in the society. And also to be able to see the harmony that is there in nature and existence. To understand all this, the harmony at all these levels, and then to be able to live in harmony with all of them. Only when I do that can I have this continuity of happiness. And this is possible to do within myself. For this, you know, other than what is required for nurturing, protecting, and rightly utilizing the body. Other than that physical facility, you can see that understanding does not require any physical facility or the self. So we spoke of this also that ultimately I am the seer, I am the one who is seen, I am the doer, I am using the body as a tool, but ultimately I am deciding, so I am the doer, and I am the enjoyer, I am the experiencer, I am the one who experiences the happiness or unhappiness, I am the one who feels low, I am the one who feels angry, I am the one who feels comfortable or uncomfortable, and so on. And I use the body as an instrument for my purpose. So we had spoken of this. Next slide, Bhaiya. So when I said that I am the seer, the one that sees, the one that understands, then I may be using, you know, many of the sense organs in the body, but ultimately I am the one who is giving meaning to it. So we give that example of the pen, that if you see a pen, the reflection of the part of the pen that is in front of the eyes, that is falling on the eyes, on the retina. But I am the one who concludes 
that this is a pen the part of the pen which is not facing my eyes that part also i deduce i make some conclusion about it just by the appearance the form i am looking at it and then giving some meaning to it within me so coming to this conclusion that this is a pen so the eyes just have the reflection the ultimate meaning or understanding or seeing happens through me so similarly we can see for all the five senses that the body is just an instrument for me to see or to understand things outside it may be used as a help in that but ultimately the seer is me and then we also spoke of seeing inside so to see outside we use the body and the sense organs in the body but if i have to see within myself i have to observe within myself then i don't need the sense organs of the body for that so for instance when we feel happy when we feel angry when we feel sad all this i can see within myself i don't necessarily need to use the sense organs of the body to find this out so ultimately i am the one who is seeing wants to see wants to understand and to do this sometimes i use the body like a tool to see something about the outside world and sometimes i don't use the body and i see directly within myself without using the sense organs of the body so ultimately i next slide here yeah. so i am the doer doer means the one who is doing who is taking the decision to do because i am the one who is deciding what i should do what i should not do and based on that i am the one who is deciding whether to give instruction to the body to do something or not to do something so it is my decision i am the one who is thinking about it within myself that there is no role of the body but after the decision is made now if i decide to express this outside then i take the help of the body to express this otherwise and we may notice this many a time so much of the time we may spend thinking about things within ourselves without really you know paying attention to the body we are often busy with ourselves so we use the body from time to time whenever we want to express whatever we want to do outside whenever we need to in our interaction with other human beings when we want to interact with others and want to express this to them then we may be using the body when we work with nature then we may use the body but then every time i am the doer i am the one who is deciding and i am using the body as my tool next slide here and i am the enjoyer i am the experiencer the one who is actually experiencing the happiness or the unhappiness within myself so i am the one who is experiencing whatever um in my interactions with the outside world or even when i am not interacting with the outside world within myself i am the one who is experiencing 
being comfortable, uncomfortable, being happy, being unhappy, being sad, being angry, all of that. Next slide, Bhaiya. So, we talked about this, that ultimately, I am the one who is central to my existence as a human being. And the body is my instrument that I am using. Well, the body is giving some information in the sense of the sensation that is there, right? But there are many, many sensations. So who is deciding which one to read, which one not to read? Is it the self or the body? Who yeah, is that, is a, that is the self. Beyond doubt, that is the self. But the first basic thing is the first instructing instrument is the body. Is it giving the instruction? Because if no, that no, is the... No, it is not giving. It is just giving the feeling or sensation. Exactly. So the sensations are there. There are many, many sensations. But I am the one who is choosing which one to read right now. For instance, okay. for instance, you know, somebody who is playing a game, which is very important to them. Say, you know, a football match, which is the World Cup or something like that. Hmm? Okay. Now, while playing, that person gets injured. And there may be even, say, you know, blood coming out from the leg. Okay. So that sensation is there. But sometimes the person keeps playing and is not even aware something happened. And then after the thing, they notice that, oh, I had gotten hurt. But I may have been so busy playing and it was so important to me that I may not have paid attention to that sensation. It yeah, happens, but... right? The sensation is uh, caused by the body or the self? Sensation is there in the body, but right. then I am the one who is choosing to read it or not to read it, isn't yeah, that it? Is a, that is the second part of it. The first part is the body is sensing something and the self is then uh, understanding that what is the feeling, whatever is the feeling, and then acting okay, accordingly. Let's look at it like this. If I want to write something, Okay. I take a pen, right? isn't it? Yes. And I put ink in it or whatever and I write. Right. Now, would you say that the pen is writing or would you say that I am writing? No, when I, I would say that when I am taking the pen, I feel, I mean, my body feels that there is a pen in my hands and then that uh, signal is transferred to the self and then I understand that there is no ink. And then I make the pen to write with filling the ink. Is it correct or not? I just wanted your opinion. Pen, who is giving the instruction to the pen Self or to the body to, to hold the pen? No, only hmm. when the body uh, detects that there is a pen, then the self will give an instruction to detecting, hold the pen. Is the body detecting, like that example we gave, that the pen in your hand Right. Or if you hold a pen in your hand, seeing, you know, what you what the body, what the sensation that is happening in the body is a reflection of this part, which is facing you, on the retina of the eyes. In fact, that is an inverted image, isn't right. it? Right. So who is making sense out of this? The self is making sense. The self is making sense. So. What is being said is that the body has a role. It has a very important role. It is a very good instrument. But I need to be aware of how to use it. Right, right, right. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Rupalim ji. Uh, good morning, Didi. Uh, good morning, everybody. And Didi, I had a <clears throat> uh, had an exploration regarding this only yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, I was uh, calling out the names. Roll call was going on. And so when I reached around uh, uh, and the class was quiet, I could hear everybody's responses. Mm, then around some uh, roll number 28, 29, suddenly 
it occurred to me that let me see without seeing the names uh, in the register uh, do i can i recall the names or not because the, this is the last two three days of standard 10 they would go away. so i thought that the whole year i am with them let me see do i uh, uh, can i uh, call the call their call out their name even without seeing that uh, uh, that time when that response came, response came, that particular roll number, uh, I couldn't, uh, I didn't understand. After uh, that, I repeated that name. Then the girl said that yes, I have already responded. So what happened here? I realized that I could hear the sound, but I didn't know whether it was present, absent, because that moment I was paying attention to that particular thought. Yes. My focus was not there. So uh, it was loud and clear. The whole class heard it. And then I also but heard some see. sound. But then yeah. I didn't know whether it was present or somebody else said that she is absent. I didn't. I just faintly, I uh, knew that some, some uh, sound was coming. That means I didn't choose to read that particular sensation at that moment. Whereas up to roll number 27, I was totally focused on uh, roll call. But that one moment, I thought that, let me see these names, <laughs> whether I can recall. So that happened, and it was clear to me that sound was received, uh, that send, uh, sensation of sound was received by the body. It came to me, but I didn't read that. So I didn't have, I didn't find any meaning in that, uh, where, because I was paying attention to something else at that moment. Yes, nice. Uh -huh. nice observation. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Very nice. Devi Prasanji. So first and foremost, one needs to be clear about what is the brain and what is the mind and is this all the self or, you know, what is what in this, to have that clarity. The brain is a part of the body. Isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, supposing if you were able to cut open even a dead body, you will find that the brain is there in the skull. Isn't it? Yes. It is a part of the body. But when we are saying mind, we are referring to the self. Now it becomes, this is a part of the consciousness. You yes. see that difference. So the mind is you know, sometimes we refer only some, in some uh, places you will see reference to the mind as this activity of expectation within us. But very often it is used to refer to what we refer to as the B2 block. That is often referred to as the mind. Now that is a part of the self. Yes, please repeat what is that? What? Are you familiar with the term B2 block? No, no, no. Okay. So within the self, we may have been able to notice these activities that are going on within the self, right? Desire, thought, expectation, we talk about it and we, you know, uh, we discussed it in the workshop also, that these activities that are going on continuously within us, we may have been able to observe that. Yes? Yes? No? Yes, uh, no, I don't remember. Okay. So even now when we spoke of the self and the body, we spoke of the needs of the self and the needs of the body, right? Hmm. We spoke of the activities in the self and the activities in the body. And we said that the activities in the self are the activities of desiring, feeling, thinking, expecting. Yes? you recall that? Yes, yes. So, that, those activities are sometimes referred to as the mind. Now, this is also a part of the self. But mm. when we say brain, that is a part of the body. And when we do the exercise, especially when we do the exercise too, observing the body by the self, then there, there will be maybe more clarity about 
how this interaction is happening. But essentially, what is, uh, you know, maybe we can try to observe it later, but for now, as information at least, we can try to see this, that there are some sensations in the body, right? Yes. And those sensations from various parts of the body are um, sent to the brain. Now, from the brain, I pick up whatever I want to, what I want to pay attention to, right? Yes. And I process that within myself and come to some conclusion about it, decide what to do, and then give instructions to the body. When I give instruction to the body, that instruction is sent to the brain. From the brain, that is conveyed to whichever part of the body it is required to convey to. So the brain part of the body only. But ultimately, the decision maker who is choosing to read or not to read, what to read, when to read, what meaning to give to that, what I read, and then what instruction to give, all that decision is happening within me. Yes, yes. Isn't it? And then I give that instruction to the brain, and now the brain <laughs> relays it to the other parts in the body. For instance, if I decide to raise my hand, I might send that, uh, give that instruction to the brain. Now the brain will, uh, you know, that um, instruction in the in the form of some nerve signal will go to that particular part of the <laughs> hand so that the hand can be raised and so on i mean we can we'll look at it in more detail when we come to exercise 2 but we can reflect on this and see if it makes sense yeah so essentially, if we try to see, you know, even in the example that um, Rupalim ji just gave, mm. that um, she was thinking about something, mm. and the sensation that reached the ears, the person responded. She heard some sound, but she didn't pay attention to it. Isn't it? Yes, because yes. she was thinking something else at that moment. Mm -hmm. You heard that example she gave just now? Yes, yes, yes. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. So same way, if you see, many times we may not remember what we are doing because we are thinking something else at that time. We are busy within ourselves. When we say we are busy mm -hmm. within ourselves, this is what is happening, right? Yes. We are thinking something else. So outside, we are not able to pay attention to, first of all, to read that sensation properly, to okay. you know give decision about it and give instruction to the body. So instead of doing that, we are busy with ourselves. So for instance, you know, there is this condition called OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay. And that is something where uh, a person keeps going and redoing the same activity. It's like almost they are obsessed with doing that activity. For instance, uh, I'm you know the person may keep checking did the person lock the door or not, mm -hmm. and even after locking, person may not recall it and may go back to doing that you know checking on that activity three, four, five times before they actually, you know, yeah, forget yeah. about it or leave it. Mm -hmm. So here, you know, what, uh, what, you know, we may be able to see this, that if supposing I'm thinking about something else, I'm thinking more about fear of uh, somebody coming in or doing something to me or something like that. And because of that fear, I'm trying to make sure that the door is locked. But 
when i actually locked the door mm. i was not paying attention to this part that i was locking the door i was paying attention to what was going on within myself okay isn't it yeah yeah mm. all those fears were there now when i come out of it and i go to the other room now i'm thinking did i lock the door or did i not lock the door yeah it even didn't register in his mind right huh that activity is not even registered in his mind ah, even there. though i have given the instruction to the body and i have latched the door mm. but i am not able to recall it because at that moment i was thinking of something else entirely yeah yeah so that is absent mindedness yeah okay ma'am thank you uh one question in this regard is uh, like my mother is uh, old and she now start, has started repeating the questions uh, like she forgets what she has done uh, she has asked less two minutes or five minutes ago maybe and she keeps on repeating the question now in this case uh, is the body in terms of brain <coughs> is playing the role or um, what is the self state and uh role at that time and can it be you corrected using self or uh, acting on self yeah so this you know individually one would have to see there can be many conditions where you know at some point because you see the brain is a part of the body yeah and as the body ages <laughs> deterioration may happen in the various organs yes in the body for instance you know say some condition like atherosclerosis where the blood circulation um doesn't reach all the parts of the body in the right manner yes mm-hmm. or whatever some there could be many conditions because of which the brain is not functioning to its you know capacity yeah properly so now when i am trying to get that information through the brain now there may be a problem mm. so i am not re- i am not able to get that information because the brain itself is damaged yes yes so that is one possibility mm. the other possibility of course this is there that you know i may not have paid attention to it yes and therefore i did not so it will have to be looked at individually in every case and you know, where the problem lies yeah but it always in the sense of that self i mean it's like self is asking a question through the mechanism of brain it is getting the answer it may not be able to uh, because of the mechanism problem uh, the self is not able to re- retain the answer i mean uh, through the instrument it is the uh, at the level of maybe instrument also as well as possibility that it can be at the level of uh, self yeah yeah okay yes yeah. thank you so um you know one is that if the person is able to see my face mm. hmm? mm-hmm. there may be i mean if you have been living you know you have been seeing each other for so many years you know you are mm-hmm. living together and you sort of uh, no many things more than we may say by words isn't it mm-hmm. like for instance if i say you know i know who i am isn't it mm-hmm. but if i go to express yeah. it in words then i can mm-hmm. only give some limited uh, thing i might say mm-hmm. something but who i am that expression in words may be very limited so similarly whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever you are saying you are expressing yeah. through words that is one part of it but mm-hmm. somebody who is close to you may be able to observe your expression on the face that you may not mm-hmm. even be aware of isn't it like how mm-hmm. sometimes somebody who is close to you say your mother or somebody may notice you and say you are looking little worried now you haven't said anything yeah, yeah. but the other yeah. person has noticed something mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so all those expressions 
which i am not even aware of but i may be expressing mm-hmm. not directly through words but in many other form mm-hmm. like for instance you know when you are feeling happy you walk a certain way isn't it mm-hmm. when you are mm-hmm. very depressed when you are feeling low you walk a different mm-hmm. way your shoulders may be drooped your head may be mm. bent down and you're walking in both cases mm. you're walking you didn't say anything but a person mm-hmm. who you know is either close to you or is able to observe this will notice it mm-hmm. yeah ma'am. and may be able to uh, you know give that meaning to it that yes this person has some problem isn't it mm-hmm. yeah so all that possibility uh. there Mm, yeah ma'am uh, shall i ask this question uh, now i don't know whether it is related or not uh, uh, when i feel my close friend uh, is far away from my place maybe bangalore or mumbai okay uh, uh, when i recall so many times about her uh, thinking about her uh, on that time itself that maybe on the same day uh, she called me and talked to me and uh, so many times it happens i called it is a telepathy uh, some word i uh, heard i read it about it is it true ma'am yeah so see um, right now what is there is that self has many potential much potential for many things mm. we may yeah. not have realized that potential so for us it seems like something very extraordinary yeah but certainly that is possible what we are referring to is telepathy if you see um like you have a you know how a walkie talkie or a transmitter or something like that is there yeah so with that or even if you see the radio you no know, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so you connect to a certain frequency you hear the thing yeah signal yeah what is coming on the radio but you don't connect to that frequency you can't hear it is it yeah. so yeah. the self you know one part is expression through the body but the yeah. other part which we are already talking about this capacity mm-hmm. to understand the capacity to um you know that potential to understand the capacity to mm-hmm. um be able to communicate to another self directly without the use of the body yeah all that is there yeah some people may be able to do it some people may not be able to do it supposing now mm-hmm. you know i am thinking of somebody yeah if the person is not very busy with their own thoughts they may be mm-hmm. able to get that mm-hmm. they may be able to receive that and you know yeah. i mean mm-hmm. we have seen these examples many of us have seen this you know directly that uh, so many mm-hmm. times it happens you call somebody and the person mm-hmm. says i was waiting for your call or you mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> you are thinking of calling somebody and that person calls you at that moment yeah. so one can think of it as a coincidence yeah. okay. or one can see that yeah. it is a possibility that is there yeah so many times it happens to me also <laughs> thank you pranav thank you and the potential is there the capacity is there in the self my question is related to meditation mm-hmm. and i heard actually i have not realized there is something like sound of silence mm-hmm. and uh, my actual question or doubt is Uh, from where it originates that whatever we call it is a sound of silence see when we say sound <laughs> it, it may be coming outside so when we are thinking about there is something sound of silence from where it originates and how we can realize what you are referring to as sound of silence one can i mean i can uh, say this that you know suppose i am thinking something right and there is lot of conflicting thoughts within me now you can refer to that also as noise that is often referred to by people as noise isn't it noise can be outside that is the sound that reaches your ears the you know but there can be noise within 
that is when you have lot of disturbing disturbed thoughts conflicting thoughts that can be considered noise now if you are calm you are comfortable then you are silent within in a way that now those conflicting thoughts are not there so you are calm you are comfortable not necessarily that you have no thought but your thoughts may be very much in alignment with your natural acceptance and you are very calm that is one possibility yes 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 that that, that is the doubt with me madam yeah so what somebody else is saying you know what it means to me unless i can observe it within myself it doesn't mean much no yes so ultimately yes, that, that's what i have not realized yeah yeah that's what so this is one possibility of what you are mentioning um so we'll have to see what exactly that uh, you know references and try to see if we can observe it within ourselves ultimately that is the the final um, where i can say that yes this is true because i have seen it for myself until then it becomes something that is somebody else said but i am not able to see it yes 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 so whatever it is we'll directly try to observe it within ourselves yeah thank you thank, thank you, you. I I think we'll just uh, discuss what we can observe or try to observe today all day. So all this discussion that has been happening about the body, what is happening in the body, and what is happening in the cell, and can we see these two, you know, separately? We'll try to observe that all day today, and then depending on you know, maybe if. Uh, we are able to see this for ourselves to some extent then tomorrow maybe we can go to the next topic but uh, all day today we can try to observe this within ourselves that in all the activities that are happening or whatever i am doing which part what is the role that the body is playing and what is the role that i am playing in that activity if we can try to observe this for today i'll put it in the now i think if we can just try to do this uh, observation all day today for ourselves that in all my activities what part is the body playing and what part am i playing for instance in the food that i am eating right i may be giving some instruction to the body there may be many choices of food who is choosing what to eat who is deciding now it is time to eat is the body deciding or am i deciding when the food is kept in front of me if a phone call comes am i going to go for the food am i going to go for the phone call who is deciding who is instructing all of those details you know of what is happening in the body and what is happening in the cell if we can try to see uh, for ourselves observe all day today and write this down in various activities it will you know uh, throw some light or give more clarity on you know what we are able to observe directly for ourselves so we'll do this today and then take your observations tomorrow and then maybe go on to the next topic